And we're back, y'all, with some Dragon's Dogma Showcase. I went back to Grand Soren. Got some more clean towels for everybody. But I'll be carrying them. I also did something that I wasn't anticipating doing. I decided to go inside of uh, Bitter Block, Bitter Black. Isle and just play around a little bit. That was my intention. I ended up going all the way down to Diamond and and finally beating the guy. Uh, as I got going and the party was doing so well, I just couldn't stop myself. So that was the first time I'd ever beat him his first form but unfortunately I found out why I found out that the the second uh, the second version of bitter black is actually quite ridiculous and so I don't have the ability to really farm that area anymore because uh I just don't have the gear for it. I really should have, uh, I probably should have just actually quit out of the game when I got to Diamond, Diamond and, uh, and then reloaded my save. But I, I got stuck in there fighting them. It got good to me and I killed him. And now I'm stuck with the other version of uh, Bitter Black that I'm not ready for. Which is was pretty dumb of me because I, it's the first time I'd ever been in, into the uh, Fallen City. And I should have got that all on camera for you guys, but you know, like I said, it was kind of unintended, so. Here you are, but I am going to go back to Bitter Black, of course, and uh, I'll be doing the hard version, the, s the second version of it, which is a lot more difficult. And that should be an adventure. I'll take that. Because all I did was go back to uh, Dusk Moon, Dusk Moon Temple. I think that's what it's called. That's as far as I made it because uh, it was a lot more difficult. I, I fought a I fought a fire drake for once, and they are quite they are quite a bit more powerful. I could barely damage it. I had to use blast arrows and parry apps to kill the damn thing because I just wasn't doing any damage to it. So I really need What's rank that? three. Uh, I really need rank three weapons. Bitter black weapons to, to really farm that area, which I don't have, so pretty big mistake I made there, but we'll deal with it one way or another. What's this? I'll take that. But here we back. Here we are back at the Water God's altar. We're gonna go through here. This is the place I can handle. No way we could have lost to that. Interesting. What's this? 
Lots of stuff hidden in the nooks and crannies in this, in this uh, dungeon. I did change my clothes up a little bit. I've, uh, I've actually done more than just went to Bitter Black. I, I went around and killed all the dragons overland in uh, Grancis, trying to Dragonforge stuff. And I Dragonforged a few things. Let's see. You see, I got some, I got a few more things Dragonforged if you were, if uh, you were able to catch what I had here before. Uh, I upgraded the uh, Rusted Bow and uh, Dragon's Rancor, some Anil Bar dishes, and I, I changed up my skills a little bit on uh, on Ivy. I, I put 100 kisses in there, and I took out, what was it, Trajectory, and put in Adhesion. And I'm going to try my hand at doing some climbing here and there finally take part in what's probably one of the best uh, features of this game and I also changed LaDonna a little bit I took out her shield storm because while it's a skill I really like and I don't mind it on her too much uh, I don't think pawns use it very well and she gets stuck in this loop of doing shield storm sometimes and I've always had it on her even despite that I just, just always left it on her anyway but it, it really is a a skill that they don't use very well so I took it off her and she'll just have to go without it oh, I got some liquid vim up there Let's see do I used to go down here first or down here ah, let's go down here first This. A well formed party can often fell even foes stronger than they. Yeah, I think fighters are pretty hit and miss on that shield storm. They use it a lot, so it sometimes looks like they're actually using it pretty well when actually they're just. Spam in the shoe. You shall not pass. Who's this? What's that? I'll take that. Got another circle there. This looks interesting. This will buy us entrance to the flooded area. Hmm. A 
mechanism of some sort. this. All right, let's go back up here. This is kind of a trap. This is kind of a trap if you don't uh, go up here first. And the reason being is these casters down here. They'll start casting on you from above when you're downstairs. It's a good idea to hit them upside the head real quick. Get these goodies over here. It is dark and unsettling in this place. Getting heavy. Pass somebody's. Stuff off to off to our one over here. See, I got some blast arrows I found somewhere. Get those to Keto. You know, these these things weigh a lot. If you ever head down here and didn't notice where all your weight was coming from, from it's those, uh, probably all the rotten fish and these type of things here, these waterfall roots. Got a bunch of saurians down here. Monsters arisen. Ready yourself. I'll serve as bait. Strike the tail. Two arms. Leave it to us.
It's like one of these ghost type things snuck up here somehow. to that ghost type enemy, enemy but he uh guess they thought better of messing with us huh? yeah Poison nut sack. Master, a chest up ahead. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm the only one that sees this gold at that gold sitting over there. What I got you guys here for, man? Come on, now. There's at least a few hidden things along the edges over here. I thought. Maybe not. All right, let's keep going. So I got tier two, some tier two weapons from Bitter Black Maxed Out, Gold Rarified. Still don't have the Sapphire Daggers. Looks like a gold rarefied dragon's eye is enough to take out those things Fresh by itself. Up. That's pretty cool. I don't need Arwen's buff to, uh, to kill those.
mountain water. Dude, that would be a time there under that waterfall where they'd use up all of their clean towels again. That's why I took them from them because they don't know how to, they don't know how to behave. Yep, just walk right through that, Arwen. Just walk right through that. Cyclops! I'll grab its leg to draw its eye out. It's like a baby baby cyclops. I only like baby cyclops in the game. Well, no, there's one in Bitter Black too. But you can't even rip its tuck, tusks off. So it's like a it's like a little mini me. What's this? This looks interesting. I'll take that. It's like a little mini me cyclops. Right, we'll come back through here. Some of these match to Arwen. You see, there's a lot of things they could improve on in Dragon Dogma too. Pathing of the of the ponds, the use of some of the items like those uh, clean towels. Uh, if you're not gonna fix that, at least make them try to avoid the waterfalls, so they don't just stand in the shit and then just do dumb things over and over, like fix lanterns. Get out of there. I guess Keto's just stuck over there. Treasure. Fixing this lamp. I can still hear him over there fixing his lamp. <laughs> I wonder what's inside.
the tail. Treasure up here. Lantern's going out. I think you'd do a better job with the UI as well. What's that? Man. Narrow halls, ill suit combat. Such narrow halls, ill suit combat. Uh, needing to go, needing to do this all the time to do uh, curatives and stuff. Hopefully, they can find a better way to do that because that really breaks up the you know the flow of the game. Bunch of bats waiting for me right there. Poor pathing. This isn't one of my favorite dungeons. Pawns do a lot of stupid shit in here. Really kinda it really kinda showcases in this dungeon. The pond's doing a bunch of stupid shit sometimes. With their item use and standing in waterfalls and shit like that. Let's go back up. We've done enough damage down here. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't matter which way we go up, really.
Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to hide on the wall right there. You can see him right there. See the dot a perfect block as soon as he fell. Perhaps make sure Quito grabbed that. Sometimes they leave treasure behind. Not often, but sometimes. Now, this is really a bad place for, for pawns to navigate. Blue Moon Tower is pretty bad too, in my opinion. Especially since they can fall off very easily. Well, not easily. I should, shouldn't say that. They fall off very rarely, but when they do, it's just like, sometimes just like, why did you fall? For the most part, the pathing's pretty good in the game for these pawns. Just sometimes they, they just do stuff. That's kind of irritating. In Blue Moon Tower, it's often a good uh, idea to save save your game often. So if they do something stupid like fall off, you just reload that save. You just quit out and reload that save and uh, you don't lose your pawns. You got one hanging up there. Good job. Good job, Lady Ladonna. It's a powerful burst. It's not worth the time. Strength in numbers, Arisa. Keto tried to bomb his ass. Got, got another one hanging up there. I'll take that. Trying to be sneaky. Trying to be camouflaged. Look at that. Don't even try it, bro. No way we could have lost to that. What's this? Don't even try it, bro. Lady of the Don is ready for you, suckers. Alright, so I know what's coming up here. I'm gonna get ready for it. We're going to I'm gonna try to hopefully rarify these. Oh, and these. I need to put these on. Keep working on my quest to rarify as much equipment as possible. And this is one of the only places you can find a frost worm in the overland. I think that's kind of kind of silly. They should have given a strange trick of fate to meet fellow country. So be it. Mayhap there is a new food to be found. In fact, it's the will of the world.
Over, overpowered keto over there. Let's see if I can get a hit in over here. Well, didn't. Didn't verify these weapons, but. I was, uh. And what I was hoping is. See, these have a uh, silence on them. I was hoping they'd silence them, but it didn't look like they. Crocked enough to to silence him. Hoping to rarify those so I could use those in that in that fashion. Oh, got a rare worm tier. Those are pretty hard to find. Lately, I'm like I was finding them pretty pretty regularly when I first started fighting these. These dragon type enemies, but now it's like they hardly ever fall. Probably got some more of these roots I need to get rid of. Now these things weigh half a pound or half stone or whatever it is. They using this game for a unit of measure. Wait, 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 wait. Our one's getting kind of heavy over here. Might as, well get, might as well spread the love a little bit. We'll give these roots to, uh, to Keto. Yeah, that helps out. Anything down here we missed? So what did I end up? Not that, not that. I got these shoes and this cloak. Yeah, that was pretty pretty sloppy on my part. I should have changed out my uh, bow as well before I killed it. What's that? I'll ill miss this dank place when we move on. Actually, kind of low on money, man. Spent a lot on trying to. Uh... I wonder what's inside. Enhancing some of these older weapons. So I'm carrying like the uh, Sarian's Bane and a couple of other weapons on her now. Just because, you know. I got those uh, treasure finding daggers on her. And they're all ready to be rarefied after being enhanced to three stars. So I'll try to get those done. perhaps I had been up to about six million gold after selling a bunch of my uh, old weapons and uh, materials that I were close to 900 that I acquired on my trips many trips through uh, Grancis 
but I'm down to a million, so yeah, I spent a lot. A lot of money. This poor guy got smeared over here a long time ago. His body's just still stanking up. This looks interesting. Still stanking up the place. What's this? So you might get lucky on a priceless artifact down here. No. All right, we're done with this dungeon. This is where the Cyclops was. So it really doesn't make sense that this is the Water God's altar until that Frost Dragon shows up, really. I mean, there's water down here, but there's nothing that really looks like uh, anything that depicts. Oh, these guys have returned. What are these guys doing back? Did you just throw that at me, Keto? Fucking Keto tried to throw a fucking bomb at me, y'all. Did you see? Y'all saw that. Tried to hit me with a throw blast. There were no enemies there. There were no enemies there, y'all. Keto tried to fucking hit me with a throw blast. Y'all synced it. I know y'all synced that. Yeah, my uh, my character Ivy's probably got the biggest booty you could find. I think I gave her the widest hips you could get. She's got a big booty. Big booty Judy. Snake's back. Got to gather some shit over here. Don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss that. Some shit you can gather down here too. All right, we're done here, y'all.
LaDonna, toss me that port crystal, would you? I don't know why you can't just put it down yourself, but uh, no, I have to do it. Let's see, get these guys back their cloths. That was the Water God's Altar on Dragon's Dogma Showcase. When we come back, we'll finish this up. This is a, a piece of a, from the from a different sky quest. That's the last one of those I need, and I'll be done. I'll be glad to be done with that quest because I hate that quest. I think that's one of the worst quests I've ever seen in a video game. Uh, treasure hunts themselves aren't bad, but it's the way they did this one. The way they put stuff around, it's just, it just, it just wasn't good, you know. Treasure hunts can be fun, but not, not, not the way they did it. So we're gonna come back after I take care of some business in Grand Soren. We'll teleport back here, and then we'll walk through this route up through the mountain cottage, back over to Grand Soren. And then we'll see where we're going to go from there. We're going to go either this way. We'll probably head towards towards Blue Moon. We'll probably head towards Blue Moon. And save, uh, save this direction for last. Where the Great Wall is. Let's see... So we got the Blue Moon Tower. We got the Duke's Mats over here as well. We have to go through the Blighted Mats. I'll show you guys all that stuff. So yeah, still got quite a few things to do in the Overland map here. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.